Hi Cubers. So this is part of my fruit series cube tutorials. That's my dog by the way. Um, and his head is about as big as this cube. This is the apple cube. It's basically a three by three mod. Just like a three by three. But as usual, these things are designed to test your mind. And we're gonna go through a uh, solve on this. Um, it'll be a walkthrough solve showing you all the sort of problems you can get because a lot of the pieces um, a lot of the pieces are actually very similar or exactly the same so you can you can come up with a lot of parities and a lot of problems so I'm just going to do this for a cubing friend of mine dogs and cubes dogs and cubes dogs and cubes that's a shout out to cats and cubes he's a pretty cool guy <laughs> and he dresses as a cat check him out on YouTube he's fun fantastic anyway i'll crack on with a tutorial of this apple cube so cubers first thing is to figure out where the centers are obviously this is the most obvious center we'll call that the top and the bottom will be directly opposite to it here and we're going to have um, other centers which would be these pieces here okay all the way around here because the center is going to remain constant firstly we're going to go for like on a Three by three is is the cross, but it's not just a matter of doing the cross. You've got to make sure that they're they're orientated with their their correct centers. You know, like the blue and the blue, and the orange and the orange, etc., all the way around. So we're going for the the cross, and to do that on here, these are the centers, okay? And well, here's one straight away, and it's in already. So we, we've lucked in there. We've got the, the um, the bottom, the bottom piece there, which is like that, and then this is here, and that be that piece there is this piece here, and I know they're correct because it's nice and smooth. I can run my finger, and now there's no problem. So let's look at the next piece. Here's the next center, and we need a um, there's there's a cross piece there. It's perfect, but the center is not orientated with it. Okay, so we'll have to take take this away, and be very careful. With this. <laughs> The whole thing keeps trying to spin, okay? So you take that down to the bottom, yeah? That's part of your white cross. You can turn this so the thick piece is at the top, yeah, like that. Bring your piece into it, and up it comes. So now we've got two pieces of our cross done, yeah? Move around, our centre will be, well, it's always going to be there waiting for us, and we've got to find the right piece to go in here between the centre and this 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 center and this center okay so look oh, there it is that feels good but again we've got to orientate it with here so yeah take it all the way down the bottom move it to the side move it over across here turn this so the this center so the thick pieces facing up there you go oh, it's all a bit bring this in feels nice and smooth so turn it all the way up. We're doing this, the cross on the top. I'm using the layer by layer method because it's just easier. Um, and obviously this cube will get easier the more you do it. So the last piece, you've got three in there. Last piece is here. And again, there's the there's the piece we want. Oh, and it is orientated. Is it orientated? It is orientated already. So we've got those orientated. Now what we need to do is fit the corners in. We've got one there, this one. It looks okay, but I'm not really sure about that. I don't think that's orientated correctly. When we've got one here, again, that's not orientated correctly. So what do we try? We're going to do a move. Because that's the right piece, it's just not correct. Do the move we always do, as you would do on, on here, if you wanted, um, say, say, white, blue, and orange. So this piece here, you want it up here, you do this. Right inverse, down inverse, right down, yeah? And that puts that in there. So we're gonna do that move on here, which is right inverse, down inverse, right, down. And just keep doing that move, right inverse, down inverse, right, down. Yeah, and you probably don't need to do that last down move. That, well, that's still not correct, so we'll do that again. So we're gonna do right inverse, down inverse, right, down. That's another piece that's gone in there. That other piece has gone in, but it's fitted in. So that's okay, it's fine. We'll, we'll keep that one in there. And this piece here, 
will fit in here. Okay. And again, put it at the bottom, put it underneath where it needs to go. We'll do right inverse, down inverse, right, down. Okay, that's that's in. So these two are in. This one looks like it's in, but it's not. You can feel that, yeah. There's a ridge, you can see a tiny ridge there. Yeah, again, we'll do the right inverse, down inverse, right down, yeah. Keep doing that until it goes in and it feels nice and smooth. Yeah, perfect. Again, find the last corner, there it is. Right inverse, down inverse, right down. Just carry on doing that move. Nope, still not in. Right inverse, down inverse, right down. Yeah. Now that's in. Magic. This piece here is going to fit in here. This is one of the second layer pieces. I recognise this because they're all the same, but they're thick at one end and small at the other. So it's wide or wide up here and narrow down here. And if it's narrow down here, that means it's going to go down to the right hand side. Okay. And I'll show you what I mean by that on one of these cubes. So that that, that is the same as this piece here, which is orange and green, which needs to come here between this orange and green, we'd do this move, wouldn't we? We'd do the... Yep, we fit that in there. I'm sure you know you three by three. We're gonna do the same move with this to put this in here. Be careful line your pieces because it's easy to slip out and there we go that's in just like i said now we'll look around We've got another piece it's going to come in this way do the same move and there's a piece in there but that shouldn't be there so we're going to put this in to the right again okay that's in another piece going in to the right Cool, so they all went into the right. That was quite handy for us. I've just took that piece out. I've just took this piece out on purpose because all the others we showed going into the right. We want to show you one going left, and you can see there, can't you, that this now is thinner on, on this side, on the left, than it is on the right. So now we're going to be moving this in this way, yeah? Right, okay, so we've got a piece here, and this piece, orange and blue, wants to go into, wants to move from, from this side to go into the left, yeah? So we do the that move yeah so that's exactly what i want to show you on this one yeah so you can put it in either this way or this way yeah and there we go that is now all the bottom layer done which is just the same as same as this bottom layer done yeah that's the same as where we are here okay now we're going to go on to the top and very similar to that we've got the line yeah we've got a line there we've got a line there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the move as I would on this three by three Okay, that's the move I'm going to do. And there. It's come out slightly different to this, but we've got a cross. So straight away we've got the cross. Okay? And as we've got no as we've got no corners in correctly orientated, I'm going to do the cross so this piece is pointing out that way right so we've got like this it's very similar to this and what I would do is if I do the cross the lab layer method if there's none I'll have the yellow bit out to this way if I had one it'd be up here like the fish face up the top so I want it we've got none so that yellow bits there so this is pointing out this way and we're going to do the soon move yeah up along down along up oh along along down yep it's the same with this one up along down long up along along down yep again 
just the same yeah we've got the cross and we've got the fish head again we hold this to the bottom left we can do that up along down along up along we along down just like this one up along down along up along along down and there you got the white now with this with the three by three of course we've got all our edges but on here we don't have any edges to worry about we've got the yellow face and that is that is the uh, apple cube done so cubers that is the apple cube solved dogs and cubes and as per usual there's only one way you can ever be sure you've fully solved a fruit cube and that is to give it a try Mmm, perfect. Went together. Fantastic. Yeah, that's definitely, definitely correct. So, till next time, Cubers. I've been Cuba Stew. You've been fantastic.